Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Professor Sistrunk and I'm reaching out to the student body. So what I want to do here is just take you through a little walk of what we call network representation. This is a packet tracer and it is a 1.5.5 packet tracer. And what the purpose of this particular application is actually show you what you should end up knowing at the end of your CCNA classes. Um, we want to make sure you understand the purpose of the class that you in. Whether you in Network Essentials or you in actually CCNA um, classes, we want to make sure you understand what's, what's the purpose of these classes. What should you know? A lot of students ask me hey professor what should i really focus on what should i come out of this class understanding i want to make sure whatever jobs you go for or whatever you do you understand what you should know it's going to be a short video we're just going to look over a few things as you can see right in front of you you have a home office and how a home office could potentially be set up now, don't buy into the theory this is actually what the world looks like, but this is what we call a simulation of how things typically look and how they could or should look. And as you can see, you got a central office here, meaning this is where the corporate, we would call this the corporate office. And then we branch off into a branch office, which will be another location. Now, really, you can be living in Florida you can be living you can be living in new york and this can be home office chicago and you still connected working remotely or in a particular site okay now in this particular lab you will answer some questions and at the bottom of this lab you will notice that you will have some projects that you can do on your own, like add an end device. You'll actually be able to add an end device. So let's talk about a few of these things here. For instance, the objective of this is the network model is this activity incorporates many of the technologies that you will master in your CCNA studies. So you wanna bring some mastery among these devices that you will learn, okay? As you can see here in part one, it wants you to know custom made devices and multi-layer connections. So it says here, the icon toolbar at the bottom. That would be down here. And if I click on each one of these uh, icons down here, you will notice that this is network devices. This here is end devices. This here is components. And then you have your cabling. And if you look in the subcategory, it breaks down what your cabling will look like. All the different things that you can have when it comes to cabling. And yes, the name displays itself as you put your mouse pointer on there. So that's the first part, just knowing what devices you'll work with. And you see right here, you have a router, you have a switch and a hubs. Uh, wireless devices, et cetera, et cetera. And as you click on them, it displays those devices. So that's good. You know now how to get to particular devices. And it has a list of questions you can ask. It says list intermediate devices and categories. Well, you know that when it comes to this section right here, it allows you to see the intermediate devices which is your router, your switch, your firewall, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you're able to see that. And then you got other questions that will ask. I'm not gonna go through each and every one of the questions. I just wanted to give you a feel for what this is all about. It says, compare and contrast LAN and WAN device. Explain difference between a LAN and a WAN. You should know the difference between a LAN and a WAN. And how I always tell my students, when I say LAN, I am talking about the switches and everything that's got to do with the switches. When I say WAN, 
I am talking about the routers. So if you ask the question in an interview about, explain to me what is considered a LAN, you don't wanna say, oh, the LAN is a local area of network. You wanna explain how a LAN functions, okay? You know it's a local area network, but you wanna express to the hiring manager that it is a switch. Remember, we're talking about LAN. It is a switch that handles the day-to-day -day grunt of the work within the organization because the switches are always on, they're always being used, and yes, you have to configure it according to whatever organization, but that's what you wanna say. And when it comes to routers and explaining WAN, the router is the WAN, wide area network. So you wanna express what is the duties of a router, okay? And that's pretty much it. Now, down here, of course, you're gonna have these questions to answer, answer them to the best of your ability, but down here, it, it, it challenges you. I say to all students, I give bonus points when student, students do the challenge. Remember, it challenges you. It says add an end device to a topology and connect it to one of the LANs which, with a media connection. So basically it's asking you to add something in here, an end device. And now you know what an end device is. When you go here, it says it right there, end devices. You can see it right there, end device. So it wants you to take a PC and all I'm gonna do is click here. I don't know which section I wanna put it in, but let's say I wanted to put it in this section or that section. Let me, let's do home. I like home. Home should have a lot of different devices, desktop computer, a laptop and a tablet. So I'm gonna go to the home and add another desktop because it asks me for a cable right here. You see that it says use one of the connections. So then I'm gonna come to the cabling and then I'm gonna use, now the thing about the cabling, if you use this one, it'll automatically connect everything for you. You know that this is your uh, connection, uh, router cable, crossover cable, where you will actually do your configurations. And then you have a straight through cable and a copper cable. Until you learn how to do everything, just use this one to connect the devices because it will connect it for you, okay? I really don't want to do a router. This is the wrong way to do, do a router unless it's a home modem router. But since it is the home, I'm gonna connect it there. And you can see that it's actually now up and working. Uh, we got a little orange there, but we'll troubleshoot that later. This is just showing you how to connect things, okay? But you got this PC that I just added in connected in this. Now, typically, if it's at home, you will have what we call a Comcast or a T-Mobile router switch. It has everything built in it. It's considered a modem, a router, a switch, all the different things. And you can see now it's green because it's connecting. That was your setup. This was how we did it in the old days. Now it is just one device that everything connects to and it's considered a router, a modem, and a uh, switch all built into one. It's, it's, it's incredible. You have it in your home if you got T-Mobile, Comcast, or whatever ISP company that you have uh, giving you internet services, okay? So that's basically it for this assignment. Go ahead and add some of these devices on here and make them connect. I'm not gonna go into much into detail. I just wanted to briefly show you what you should learn when you complete all your CCNA courses and all the different devices that you'll work with. Remember, you're gonna be working with routers, switches, not hubs so much, but wireless devices. You're gonna have end devices, which is gonna be PCs, laptops, servers, etc. And you're gonna learn what all these different devices are. Okay, so this is Professor Sistrong sending you a short video to learn how to understand network representation.